For over 20 years, the Hubble Space Telescope has given us iconic images of faraway galaxies and has expanded our understanding of the cosmos. It's scheduled to see into space for the last time this decade, and plans to replace it are taking off. In June, we headed out to Battery Park in Manhattan, where a full-scale model of the next big space telescope was on display at the World Science Festival. There, we met... Paul Geithner, and I'm the observatory manager for the James Webb Space Telescope program at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. He told us about the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be the biggest telescope that's ever been put into space. The main mirror is almost 22 feet across. So when it comes to the telescope, size matters. The bigger the telescope, the more you can see. So this is bigger, so it can see farther and see more. Geithner added that the web will be so sensitive from Earth, it could detect a nightlight on the moon. Scientists want to use the web to study the early universe. They can do that because light travels at a finite speed. 186,000 miles a second. Meaning the rays of distant stars and galaxies take a very long time to reach us. So often, we're seeing the universe as it was. Thousands, millions, billions of years ago. So when we look deeper into space, we're, actually, we're also looking back in time. And when Hubble sees as far as it can see, it sees a lot of galaxies. It sees a chaotic universe crowded with galaxies and, and stars. Um, but it doesn't see the very first ones. But we're building this telescope to go see that, see back that far. While the Hubble is about 350 miles over our heads, the web will be sent a million miles from Earth, four times farther away than the moon, in order to see these ancient galaxies. To dispatch it to that distance, Geithner said engineers will build the web's mirror into 18 smaller hexagons that can fold up into a rocket. It's like a complicated piece of origami, and when it gets into space, it's all going to unfold like, like a flower or like a, like a butterfly coming out of its cocoon. Set to launch in 2014, scientists plan for the $5 billion web to operate for at least five years, but are putting enough rocket fuel on board with the hopes it can last up to 10. Geithner can't wait to see what it can do. If you like Hubble Space Telescope, I think you'll love the James Webb Space Telescope because it really does have the promise to uh, rewrite the textbooks in astronomy and, and things we know about the universe just like Hubble has. It's pretty exciting to be a part of something like that.